let's try that. There you go. Hey, welcome back to the vlog. Um, if you're here because you liked the video I did uh, a week or so ago about the top five things needed to consider when you're moving to the Netherlands, welcome back. Uh, go ahead and subscribe below because I'm going to try to continue to do these videos for the foreseeable future. So in that video, I had mentioned apostille, and some questions came up on what is apostille, how important is it, is it a necessity? Um, and this goes into something else I mentioned in that video that everybody has different experiences when they do this move. And while I'm sharing my experience and the experience my wife and I had, that doesn't mean that that's the same experience you're going to have. But we're here to talk about apostilles. An apostille is, think of it as a notary of notaries, okay? It is, brief history, back in the early 60s, a bunch of countries got together and they formed these rules called the Apostille Convention, and it laid out what had to be on documents and how they could be registered and confirmed to be legitimate so that they could be used in any of those original countries. The United States joined that same coalition in 1981, and that's now why we're talking about apostilles. Apostille is a stamp added to a piece of paper that is attached to a document. I'll put a picture of one right around here. That stamp basically certifies that that particular document is real and is original and can be trusted. Okay, that's what an apostille boils down to. Now, the way in which you get an apostille, that's when it gets a little tricky. See, apostilles are done on a state level, but those state levels are certified through the Secretary of State. Well, that leaves the states to handle everything a little bit different than other states. So it's very, very important that you check for your state's regulations on how you have to get a document apostilled. Shana and my apostilles were a little bit complicated. You see, when we moved here, we moved from New York. We were married in Virginia. Shana was born in New Jersey, and I was born in Illinois. So we had to get three separate documents apostille stamped from three separate states, none of which we were living in. So Virginia, for our marriage certificate, they would only apostille the document if it was issued within six months of the apostille. New Jersey would apostille just about anything. You just had to send them the document and they would verify that it was the original document and that it was a legitimate document and then they would send it back with the apostille. Illinois, you had to be there in person. So here's where we're at. Virginia, we had to order a new marriage certificate because we had been married for like eight years by this point. So we had to find a service to order the new marriage certificate, have said marriage certificate sent to us in New York. We then sent the certificate to Virginia, but that's not the kicker. You have to provide them with an envelope to send it back to you. Well, now we're on a short time list and we have to get this done ASAP. So we provide a UPS envelope in the UPS envelope that we sent there. So now you're returning UPS. We're like 45, 50 bucks just for our Virginia apostille. And that doesn't even count the, I think it was 30 or 40 bucks that we had to spend to get the new certificate made. New Jersey was simple. We just sent it down there, but again, UPS two ways, another 40 or 50 bucks. Illinois, now that could have been a pain in the ass because you had to be there in person. So I had to take the document with me to the Apostille service office. They would look at the document, look at me, verify it was all real, done. Fortunately, we had a trip planned to Chicago so that I could, well, the trip was planned to see family and friends and do Chicago stuff, but I was able to take the apostille with me or the birth certificate with me and have it apostilled there. So why do I bring all this up? Plan ahead, get everything apostilled. I personally, we heard stories that this person didn't need it and this agent didn't ask for it and this, 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 and this. 
We just had it all done. And because of that, when we went in to get our BSNs and register and get our visas, and they asked for our documents, we just handed this stack of three documents over to them, all three of them apostilled. There was no questions asked. There was no, oh, you should have gotten this apostilled, and then you're shipping stuff back from the Netherlands to the States and back. And remember, you are on a time limit here to get all the registration done. So, break it down. Get everything apostilled. If you know you're moving, get moving on it right away. Look up your individual states. There's plenty of references out there. I will try to put some links in the description below. Um, look it up. Do your research. Don't just trust what other people's experiences are because there's no guarantee that that's going to be your experience. Get it done. Make your life easy. You're going to be so stressed with everything else that's going on. You want to take the steps that are needed to eliminate as much stress as you can. So get to searching for your apostilles. Uh, hopefully you know where your original documents are. And until next time, um, I'm signing off. If you like this video, uh, go ahead and, and subscribe, please. It, it helps out. It lets me know that I'm going in the right direction and I'm helping people. Uh, if you have any questions, drop them below in the comments. And until next time, we'll see you soon.